Well, good day, Clayton Chick Outdoors. I'm Clayton Chick, and this is the indoors. Cooking today, walleyes. It is minus 25, 26, I think my truck red this morning, cold. But anyways, snatched up some walleyes yesterday, and I thought I was going to cook up some fish today, and why not do a little bit of uh, a different recipe. Walleye tacos, um, it's not a very elaborate recipe, it's kind of basic but it's something that you can do very easily. So we will get started. What you're gonna need, obviously your walleyes. I have all the back straps right now, the walleyes, just because they're all the same thickness and they're all gonna cook evenly. I'll cook up the other ones after, but I thought just for the video presentation, we'll do this. We have some uh, Baker's Narrows Crispy Raging Cajun, just to give it a little bit of a kick. And then, where's my bottle of Frank's? It's right behind me. And then we have the bottle of Frank's Red Hot, which will be used uh, to coat the fish. And these other recipe, these other uh, ingredients we'll get to after, because they go on the, the stock apart. And we have roasted garlic peppers, which is gonna be part of the marinade as well. So, we're going to take our fish here, and we're gonna put them in that Ziploc bag first. Grab some Frank's. Dump her in there. Don't need a lot of frames, just enough to like kind of to coat the fish evenly. If you have an excess amount of frames, you're going to end up with uh, a hoopy goopy mess. So don't overkill on the frames. What I like to do then is I take a little bit of this roasted garlic and peppers, and then I put it in with the frames before I even put any of the batter on. I'm gonna mix that all up. Now, what I should have did right away was get the canola oil, which I mean, I'm using canola oil in the pan to get it, get it going and get it nice and hot. Before I put the, the batter on here, I'm going to get this nice and hot too because the batter you wanna put on just before you put it into the oil. We're going a healthy amount of oil because we're Giving it more of the deep frying effect today. Let's turn our oven on. Power here. Crank that baby up. She should get hot pretty quick, to be honest. Okay, the oil should be pretty close to hot and ready. So we're gonna take our seasoning. You could cut it with a little bit of flour if you want, if it's a little bit too spicy for you. We're going for spicy today though. So I'm gonna dump in what I feel will be enough to basically coat all of the fish. You, you don't want to use too little because then it just ends up turning into a goopy mess. You want enough seasoning, I'm sorry, enough batter to cover all the pieces of the fish. That's a super key ingredient when you're ever going to be deep frying fish. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, she's hot enough. Look at that. You definitely want to cook the fish fairly hot. The, the hotter you get it, the more it's gonna crisp up. And that's what a lot of people really like with the fish, a nice crispy fish. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna flip our fish over here. Looks like it's getting nice and crispy on this side here. Well, this is cooking up. I'll go through the other ingredients really quick. This is just a mild salsa, President's Choice. And this is, this is what makes these, this recipe really good. It's a honey mustard. I guess it's not really honey mustard. It's sweet with heat, it's called. It is uh, a little bit of a spicy mustard. It is so good. Some Tex-Mex cheese. Now, of course, there's other ingredients you can add to, but this is just what we've been doing for a few years here. And uh, I have somebody that's gonna be enjoying some of these tacos today, Carter, who's been in some of my videos. This is what he's been liking. You could put lettuce in them, you could put guacamole, you know, you could get more elaborate, but this is like a super simple, quick recipe. Go to the store, buy a couple items, fry your fish, 
Like this literally will take me 10 minutes to make, I guess, maybe 15 at the most. And if you're like me, time is important. And I don't like to spend a pile of time cooking if I don't have to, I like to be quick. Oh, that fish is looking good. That's looking good. Okay, our fish is all crisped up, ready to be put on the plate. Oh, baby. Oh, unreal. This is gonna taste so good. We're gonna let that cool for just a couple of minutes and then we're going to make the little taco. Okay, next step, right? Soft shell taco, check. Couple pieces of fish. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe one might be enough here. I'll go two, we'll go one little small guy too. Little bit of mild salsa. Some cheese. And then like I said, the secret ingredient, sweet with heat. And there you have it, a little walleye taco. Nothing crazy, it's got more meat than anything. I think that's a lot of things with tacos that I always hate, it's like all this filler and no meat. Well, load the fish up, boys and girls, because that's where it's all at, right there. Mm. This is gonna be good. You guys, thank you for watching. Short video, like I don't even know, it's gonna turn out to be like five minutes or something like that, but we're gonna do more of these in the future. So as always, get inside. No, I mean, get outside. <laughs>